I needed a computer that could double as a test bench for some up and coming video ideas that I have. And my main PC is a custom water cooled build, so swapping parts in and out was not an option for that big boy. The goals that I set myself to achieve this build were as follows. Number one, the CPU, RAM and PSU must be adequate enough to never provide a bottleneck for any single GPU that I test in any gaming scenario. Number two, I wanted the system to be portable so it could double as a home theater or LAN PC which meant mini ITX form factor would be best suited. Number three, I was willing to source parts both brand new and second hand to complete the build, but I did prioritize second hand parts first. Number four, everything had to be aesthetically pleasing and color coordinated as I personally do not like mismatched builds. Number five, the system must also function as a backup PC which meant it must be able to render 1080p 60fps footage in a timely fashion and game comfortably at high settings at up to 4K resolution. Introducing Red Rocket, the PC I managed to put together with these goals in mind. The parts of where I got them from are as follows. On eBay, I managed to find a 6700K, Asus Maximum 8 Mini ITX motherboard and 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z memory rated at 3000 megahertz for 550 bucks, which started off this build and locked the color scheme into red and black. The CPU once overclocked is an absolute beast and 32 gigs RAM was more than plenty to tackle any video editing projects I could throw at the system. Secondly, I found an FSP Hydro G 80 plus gold rated 650 watt power supply on Gumtree for 80 bucks, which is efficient and incredibly reliable and enough wattage to run any GPU, including dual chip cards with ease. To cool the CPU as I planned to heavily overclock it, I found a Corsair H100i 240mm liquid cooler on Gumtree for 90 bucks, which should keep temps cool and draw the majority of the CPU's heat away from any GPU I'm testing. For storage, I wanted fast and reliable, so for a boot drive, I found a 128GB Samsung 840 Pro for 40 bucks and a 960GB OCZ Tryon 100 as a games drive for 199 Both are from eBay and both are blazing quick for both game load times and editing footage. Because I also wanted the PC to be a home theater or LAN rig, I needed a GPU. So I managed to pick up a brand new MSI GTX 980 Ti for $485 from the Dick Smith store on eBay during a sale. The card boosts all the way up to 1315MHz on its own and can crush most games thrown at it at some high resolutions. To house all the components, I bought brand new from PC Case Gear the Fantec N through Evolve Mini ITX case for $109, which supports all my hardware without being too large in size. This case looks amazing, is portable, and matches the black and red aesthetic perfectly. To really color coordinate everything, I picked up a triple pack of Thermaltake 140mm RGB ring LED fans for $79, and two 120mm RGB ring fans for the CPU cooler for $70, also from PC Case Gear. These fans are quiet whilst moving a heap of air through the case, so they were definitely worth the investment. Adding all that up is $1,702, which I know is a lot and out of reach of many people's budget, but I was happy with the end result I got for my money, and that's what matters. Now you all know the parts. Let's put it together in an awesome time lapse to some good music as usual.
Benchmarks are up next, and I ran all games cranked up at both 1080p and 1440p, as I don't have a 4K panel as of yet, so if you see any FPS numbers you don't like, all you would have to do is turn down some unnecessary settings like anti-aliasing or anastrophic filtering to boost the FPS greatly. I ran the 980T at stock speeds as temps were getting a little too high for my liking. I have a heap of new games as well, so look forward to that. I managed to get an overclock of 4.8 GHz at 1.36 volts stable on the 6700K, which I was extremely pleased about. I put the CPU through the usual 1 minute 20 Battlefield 4 gameplay render test using these settings and it achieved a time of 1 minute 55. If you want to see the entire unlisted render test video, there is a link in the description, and in the description of that video is the links and times of every PC I've built so far on this channel. Cinebench R15 is up next, which the computer received a score of 1036, which is an amazing score. The highest temperature the GPU hit was 81 degrees after 20 minutes of Unigen Heaven 4.0 due to the power supply cover partially depriving the GPU of a healthy airflow in such a small case. The CPU hit a maximum of 84 degrees after a 20 minute 8 of 64 stress test which I am really happy about with such a heavy overclock. In conclusion, Red Rocket will be a great help to the future of this channel so I expect this little beast to appear in future videos as I have a lot planned for it but for now it will sit proudly beside my TV as a console killer slash Netflix streamer. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing for more PC builds and other content in the future. If you have a suggestion, question or criticism, leave a comment, and thank you very much for watching.